What's up guys and welcome back to Wolf Tonics. Today we are on, on jailbroken devices. I'm still doing jailbroken videos, don't get worried about that. I am I'm still hacking on, on jailbroken and I'm going to hack you guys and stuff for on jailbroken devices because I hate making people feel bad because there's no jailbreak right now. So let's get into the on jailbroken community. Um, for this video, we're going to teach you guys how to get Providence 8 on on jailbroken devices running on iOS 9.3. Um, point one. Um, we're using the day trick today. So if you do not understand what the day trick is, I'll show you guys how to do that. So I'm part of Team Shards, so I'm going to use the Shards OS application to do this. Um, not all the links work in Shards OS yet because I haven't put them in yet. But I'll make sure that I do that by the uh, by the end of this video. By the time by the time you guys watch this, something like that, it should be all working. But for the today's purposes, we're going to get um, Providence eight. So let's go ahead and open up Settings application and let's go down to General. And let's go, as you can see, I'm going to prove to you that I'm on iOS 9.3.1. I'm going to block out all the information because I don't want you guys to see when I got that. I got there because I don't want you guys to steal my shit. You get me, guys? All right, cool. All right, 9.3.1. And you're going to go ahead and go to date and time. Toggle that off so you have it ready to go. After you do that, you're going to head over to Shards OS. So Shards OS is a beautiful, beautiful app built from the ground up. Um, it's a web application, but it's still in beta. It's on beta 4 right now. We have about two more betas left, three more betas. Beta 7, probably going to end it where we're going to end it at. We have a lot of stuff to bring to you guys. We're not even anywhere near done. As much as it does look like it's finished, it's really, really not. We still, And we have a... Uh, I'm just going to preview the app real quick. It's going to be probably be a really long video. But uh, go ahead and hit the top corner here, and you're going to hit uh, About Shards, and you're going to see all the information about Shards OS. I said on beta four, and uh, credits are people that made it. You can see Shards OS. You have Wolf Tonics. You have Lincoln, the CEO, and you have I Debit a Coder. You have themes that you can pick from. As you see, no, it's in beta, so it's not going to stick. So if you close the application and come back, it won't save your settings. It'll like reset it. We have to fix that problem. We definitely will. Software doesn't work yet because there's no software update to, to go to. So there's no point in not even working. Um, day trick is what I'm going to explain to you guys right now. So the day trick is pretty much all nine, um, iOS 9.3 and up. Pretty much that's what you need. Um, and what you need to do is you need to open up the settings app and do it exactly what I did today. And what you need to do is you need to hit up 2012. So all the applications that say day trick required or day trick is in use, you have to hit up 2012 in your dating content. So um, the only links that I know that work are Air Show You right now I made work. And Bardman it has a link, but it, I don't think it installs. I think it installs me with the day trick. I don't know yet. Um, we're going to scroll down here to Providence 8. Um, Providence 8 is uh, an emulator. To, it's a multi-emulator. Uh, multi it's like RetroArch. So um, it runs GBA ROMs. So let's go ahead and hit this up. So it's on version 1.0.3. And let's go ahead and install. So you're going to click Download. And it's going to say raw dot you can you have that user content don't worry about that um press install and once you press install it should start to install but you want to make sure that you hit it over here and you want to scroll all the way to 2012 because that's what you want to be in doesn't matter what day in 2012 just matters in 2012 and once you do that providence should open up if you open it up you should get this untrusted enterprise developer pop-up um when you get that press cancel and head over back to the settings and go ahead and toggle on set automatically after you've done that, go over to Profiles and Device Management, and you want to head over here and find the profile, which is Beijing HL95 Info slash Industry Co. Ltd. That will be in the description below. Everything in this video that I've done for you today will be in to the description. If you have any comments or questions about or something that's going wrong, hit up the comment section below, and I'll be sure to answer it as far as I can do. Sorry for the pop-up. People like to test me. Text me. You know, I really have a fucked up like day today on like words. So now you just trust it. You're good to go. Up, 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 and up the providence, bruh. Hey, bruh. And if this would not be a right video, if I wouldn't give credit out to Operation Idroid, Operation Idroid, what's up, Operation Idroid? You my homie, bro. You homie, bro. Got those hack ROMs over here. Go to his website. His website will be in the description below, as well as his channel. Hit up his channel, bro. Subscribe to that guy. He's a beast. Um, he knows what he's doing. Hit up Floor of Sky, my favorite game. I swear to God, I love this game to death. Um, and what it's going to do is going to open up. So, to open up zips, you want to find a zip opener in App Store. So, how to do that? I got this one. You can get one too. Don't worry about it. Um, I have copy to zip app free. Get that one. So, get that, get zip app free, bro. Don't do that. As you can see, I've already done it before, but I'm just going to do it. I was just going to do it again for you guys. But open in, and you're going to find Providence 8, and you're going to copy to Providence 8, and Providence 8 will now open the game. Now, something else I really found out that was really, really cool to me. If I swipe off these things here, um, if I swipe off these things here, um, Providence 8 actually supports 3D Touch. I don't know if it's by accident or if it's by actual purpose or anything. I don't know. But if you hold, force touch, hold down, I was able to do I don't know why I wasn't able to do it, but I was able to do it. Um, probably because I played it and then I left. Um, 
So let's see if I can. There you go. So once you play the game and you're you like leave the game when you like you leave the game open, you can you leave you can actually force touchdown and you can get it to work and you can click it and it'll go back to play that game. Like that's really cool to me. I think that's really awesome. And I think it does it without it. Yeah. Once you play a game, um, it now remembers the game. So then it's gonna go and you force touchdown and you can actually start that game off from your home screen. So something really really cool that I figured out today and it's really really awesome. So 3D touch people, you can actually enjoy that feature. Um, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys next time in the next video. Um, till next time guys, Wolf Thunder says like, subscribe to this channel and comment if you need help and I'll catch you guys next time. Wolf says peace.